Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket, and today we're here with the monthly build again for November. Um, this time I went with the AMD themed build, so of course we're going with AMD's flagship FX9590. It's, I think it's clocked, yeah, 4.7 gigahertz, it's 8 core, but I, I'm not exactly sure how that is. I think it's quad core with hyper threading, but I could easily be mistaken, so I'm going to check that right away. Um, yeah, the max turbo frequency is 5 gigahertz, which is very good for gaming. This will be a extremely powerful processor. I'm still uncertain if it'll be better than the 6700K, but I am very interested in testing that out. No, no, not that. I always go to... In case you don't know, I go to CPUbenchmark.net to get a... a a price to performance comparison and to see the mark. Let's just check it out. Oh, I need another CPU. I'm just gonna add a 6700K. You always have to type in the full name with this website, that's one problem. Time consuming, that's what it is. According to this thing, it's you can see the 6700K is a little bit better than this thing, but for this thing's price, it's a lot better than this thing. And I'm still not sure whether this is better than this for gaming, because you gotta remember, this is 4.2 versus 4.0, 4.7 and 5.0, so this could be better for gaming. And as you can see, I was right, it's four physical cores, two logical cores per physical, the same on this one. The only other problem with this thing is that it draws way too much wattage. Anyway, enough of that, so we went with the Regent Tech Triton Red Cooler because since this is since this is an AMD build, we want everything as red as possible. Of course, we do still want some hints of black, so it won't be like a red theme. It still has to be an AMD theme, so we had to make it black and red, so fortunately, this cooler is black and red, so... Next up we have the Asus 970 Pro or 970 Pro Gaming, Corsair Vengeance Pro 16GB, we have two 16GB kits, so that's 4x8, which makes a total of 32. And then, since it's so much AMD, I decided to go as much AMD as I can, so I even went along and got three AMD Radeon solid state drives. I know these might be very bad, I mean I don't know the performance of them, but they're AMD, so I stuffed them in there. Then, of course, I also went with the two-way Crossfire Arcs 480, which um, is better in, in benchmarks. Many benchmarks out there show that the two RX 480s outbeat one GTX 1070, but, of course, it would be better to get a 1070 if this wasn't an AMD build, because one card plays on most games better than two cards will. Then I just, I just got a fully modular power supply, 850 watts, because I found this thing draws a lot of wattage. I can't see that right now, but let me just check it out right away. Anyways, for the case, I went with the NZXT H440 case, and the reason why I went with that instead of the S340, I believe, or the newer case, is because it didn't have enough red hints on it. This one has a lot of red, redness added to it, and the... Their newest case doesn't have enough red to it, so I knew I had to find something else. It says there's issues. CPU thermal design. Oh. That's actually a problem. I didn't notice that. Okay, so... Anyways. But anyways, that's the end of this build, so... It draws 677 watts, so I just went ahead and put in an 850 watt one, which should be perfectly fine. But, as I can see, there's this very bad error, so that's it for this monthly build, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the thumbs down button. Make sure you subscribe, comment your opinions down below, and stay tuned because I will be fixing this build because this issue basically kills the computer, but I still have to post this video, so see you guys in the next one.